coming to you with another. As soon as I started the motorcycle scam, O to the F to the G. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do, ay, that's all we do, ay, 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 ay. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Picky, picky, ay, picky, ay. What's up, y'all? So I am back like I never left. No, but I'm super excited per the usual, right? I am so glad to be coming before you guys today. It is actually Thanksgiving day. Of course, you're not going to see this on Thanksgiving day. So just happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I just pray that you guys are being safe out there. You guys are enjoying your family. You're enjoying this time. Cause I know some people are still working from home, um, due to the quarantine and all that stuff. I was gonna say all that good stuff, but that's not necessarily good, but you know what? It depends on how you look at it. I know that a lot has happened in this year, but if you really take a look, I know if I take a look over my life, there are so many things that I am thankful for this year. Um, it's just been, there, there have definitely been blessings in this year. I know it's been a lot going on, but God has definitely been awesome and amazing this year. So, um, anyway, just pray you guys are staying safe and your family is safe. And, um, I'm just coming to show you guys my updated foundation routine. Now here's the kicker or here's like a little disclaimer. I usually do not do like a full face of makeup on Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna kinda keep it natural, you know, with the eyes and everything. And I'll tell you what I did use on them, but I kinda wanna show you like my updated routine and what I have been doing with my face. Matter of fact, let me grab these powders because guess what? Your girl doesn't usually bake, but guess what? I've been baking. I've been baking. Hey! <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my updated routine with that and I use a different contour. We just, we about to show you some things, but I'm not gonna go all in cause today is kind of a light day. As a matter of fact, I will be rocking this hat right here. So I'm not gonna even put foundation up here because you know, when I rock a hat, I don't wanna do that. And bars and I actually have on sweats today. So it's all the way chill. So while we are talking, um, I will, I will. Oh, before we get started, girlfriend and guys out there, make sure that you subscribe and join the fam bam. Okay. Because if you don't, you will not receive notifications. Let's get into this. Cause I know my fam is waiting on me, but for the brows, cause I did them off camera. Um, I always, and you can see it's all gone girl. I always use my Ofra I about to say Ofra Beverly Hills. No, my Ofra um, brow gel. This one is definitely gone. It is the semi-permanent eyebrow gel, dark brown. I did a collaboration with Ofra and that was in my bundle. So I've already opened this one. This is probably my fourth or fifth. I just lost track of how many I've been using. Um, Another thing that I re-upped on, which is my third bottle. So it's kind of like an update on what I'm using as well as how I apply my foundation. So um, I, this is like my third bottle, I believe, of the Lancome um, La Base Pro uh, Perfecting Makeup Primer. It has a smoothing effect. It's not a hydrating primer, nor is it a mattifying primer. It is just a primer that you can use on all skin types and it just smooths the surface so you can apply your makeup. And it is y'all for real. It has like 0.8 ounces and I just bought one a few months ago. And of course I've been doing makeup more than, um, not just on myself, but I've been doing it on others and I always go to this. So I definitely ran out, but this is amazing. It's about 40 bucks, but let me tell you, it's definitely worth it. That makeup adheres to it very well. It does feel a little like silicone-y. I know that's not a word, just made it up, but um, I'm here for it and I usually don't do that. So I still do corrector when I do my foundation because if we gonna go in, it's like go hard or go home, right? If you gonna do your foundation, I correct because I just love the way that the corrector neutralizes my skin, right? It neutralizes the darkness because if I just do foundation sometimes or, and it may just be me, right? But if I do foundation or just concealer sometimes, Sometimes, and I had a little bump right there too. But if I do count foundation or just concealer, I feel like as it begins to wear throughout the day, I feel like you can see like it, it starts to show through like the darkness and stuff. And it could just be me because, you know, I do makeup and stuff and probably the average person wouldn't even detect it. But because I know when you know better, you do better. <laughs> Um, I also go under my eye because I have a little hyperpigmentation. It's not bad. And trust me, you really can't see 
everything that we can see in person. Next up is my NARS foundation. I've been loving this, but I, I rock it when I want like a natural look and I've also rocked it in photo shoots. I recently did a video on it. Love it. If you want to see, you know, a detailed review on it, you can check out the video. I'll link it in this video somewhere. The shade I am in, in this particular one is Macau. I think I've used um, seashells in another uh, one of their foundations before, but I like Macau in this one. So I just simply take my finger, y'all know, I don't know. I just, I just like to apply my foundation in this way. And so I told you guys, I am probably not gonna put it on here at all because, um, and I almost did, I just remembered. I'm probably not gonna put it up there at all because I'm actually wearing a hat. And so I'm probably gonna have that on all day and I don't want makeup all on my hat. So if that looks a little funny, it's okay. I'll probably take a picture with the hat on, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I am using this sponge. I don't know if y'all see that I re-upped right here and I got more, I've just been using them. These um, are Sonia Kashuk beauty blenders or beauty sponges and I get them from Target for five bucks. Five dollar holla come through and I love them. They are my favorite right now. Here is what I do. This is how we do it. This is what we do. Hey, this is, no, okay. Like y'all know me, so don't even play. But this is the Juvia's Place Concealer. I already have a video on that. This is in the number 12. Now this is what I do. So I used to do all under here and do this big old triangle, but then sometimes when I will blend it out, it will go way over here and I didn't want it there. So now I just take it right here and I do come down here a little bit cause I want, you know, the middle of my face to have that highlight. And I literally just do this right here. Like seriously, this is what I've been doing. Booyah, that's it. And when I let it sit for a while, it will spread, but not too much. And it, it's just perfect. So it gives me that highlight that I need. And when I do other people's makeup, this is the technique I use now. I let that dry so that it can set so that it just, it kind of gets a little tacky. So I love the way it blends like that. And I feel like it stays in place more. So what we're gonna do now, this is part of my new technique, is I'm gonna use my Graftobian um, banana cream pie. My, 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 banana cream pie, Hey, So I'm using that banana cream pie, love it. I have one in my kit for when I do makeup. This one's mine. So we're gonna go all in it, girl. So this is the Graftobian banana cream pie. It's a little light, right? And so here's the thing. So, um, yeah, I have a confession. Remember when I told y'all this Sasha Buttercup, um, I do not like use her because she's so drying. I did a whole video. Oh, that's way too much. I did a whole video of her, um, her mm -hmm, in comparison or versus, um, the Ben Nye banana powder. Right. And I was like, she will suck the life out of you and make you all the way dry. Well, when I got my makeup done for a photo shoot, I learned this technique from the makeup artist that did it. Right. And if you check out my Instagram, Seeky beauty, Seeky underscore beauty, you will see who did it and you can go ahead and follow her. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, look her up. So I'm going to show you, she was like, um, she actually had Sasha buttercup. Right. And I told her, I said, I, and low key, cause I'm a makeup artist. I had all my stuff with me too, just in case like, you know, cause she had never done my makeup and we didn't do a consultation. And I was like, let me just pack my stuff just in case. Right. We just gonna, just in case I need to go in and do a little work. Right. So anyway, I know, I know. Plus she was like, just, you know, we, we had a whole conversation. So I just wanted to make sure I had a little backup plan just in case. Right. And so anyway, so I, she had Sasha Buttercup and I was like, me and Sasha, we don't kick it like that. Like, like she's, she's, she's a wonderful powder, <laughs> but we don't roll like that. And I told her why I was like, it sucks the life out of me and it makes me look a hundred years old. Right. And she was like, well, and so I had brought my handy dandy Graftobian. And so she was like, it's like story time, low key. And she was like, let's use her on top. So I was like, girl, let's go. Let's do it. Let's try it. Cause I'm always willing to learn whatever it is. Don't ever act like you know everything, right? Cause when you get to the point to where you feel like you know everything, whether it's in makeup, whether, whether it's in life, your job, whatever, you are closing yourself off to, for learning, right? And you can always learn more cause no one knows it all. So I take the Graftobian and then I apply that. I set it with my sponge, right? just like so. And then I put it right under the eye and set it like that. I don't let it bake or anything like that. But then I go on top 
with the Sasha because the Sasha is like, you just gonna stay there. Like, you not moving, right? So I go in with the Sasha, like, come on through, Sasha. And then I take her right here and I go like that because this is where I get oily. So I do that. Let her sit, honey. Let her just have her way. Bless her up and through here. And then bam. And I let that sit and then I'll do a little here to set that. Everywhere you put your concealer, you want to set that with that powder, right? Because that's where you wanted it to be highlighted. So that's where you want to set it and forget it. I go into my Urban Decay powder. Now I love this powder so much to where I just went and bought another one. And I'll show you because I wasn't really through with it, but I did crack it. So this, like she just been, we've been through some things. So this is the Urban Decay, um, the Naked Fix powder in 70YW. And I recently re-upped because it is really a love thing and it's real over here. This is what I do. This is what I do. I take my brush with the powder and I just blend that in. And then I don't get as oily right there throughout the day. I think some of y'all was holding out on me cause I think y'all tried this, but I don't think y'all told me. Baby girl, look, this Fenty Beauty bronzer. I, I love her, especially snatching that nose. So I have Mocha Mommy. So I just use it with the light hand. And um, first I just apply it. This is another new thing I started doing, right? Cause I feel like I get more on and then I squeeze it and then I go like this. I'm gonna let that sit there for a second and then I'm gonna get my blush and y'all forgive me because I show y'all these blushes every time but I think that they are, um, I think that they are discontinued y'all. This is the Becca, um, the Becca Luminous Blush. I think they're discontinued, but this is Tiger Lily because I want a real kind of natural glow today, which is um, like a, it's like a, you know, like a sun kiss kind of, you know, with that little orange. This is what I do too. So I'm going to brush this off, but there's a technique that I use. I take this brush. This is the uh, Morphe and Jacqueline Hill JH girl 17, I think. So I take this and I dab it like that. And then I kind of put it right here where I could not reach with that beauty sponge, right? And I just, the, you know, the excess. And then I go in here. You can always take your powder brush and just kind of blend it out like that. This is my um, Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills Highlighter. And this was part of my bundle too. And so I'm going to go into this one, but I usually just use this color right here, right? And then... I use this small brush for placement and then I'm going to blend it out. But you know, if you just want to leave it like that, you can, but I just don't want it to be so super noticeable. Oops. Oh girl. I'm trying to do this and look in that monitor at the same time. That's not working out for me. So anyway, I'll fix that. So the final thing I'm going to do is my Ofra makeup fixer. It says it's a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. And so I just go in on it and I'm going to show you, this is the other technique too. It smells so fresh. Now I go in because this brings everything all together. Then I take my beauty sponge and I, this is another thing my makeup artist did where I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. She went in and blended that out. Cause sometimes when you put the spray, it kind of makes it discolor or, or kind of separate right up there. So I dab it right there and then I just fan the rest and you see how it just kind of makes me look, um, now, it just looks more natural. It brings everything all together. It doesn't look cakey at all. And I'm going to use the shade from Seeky Cosmetics, which is my new cosmetics line. Um, this is Millionaire. And the container says, confidence is key. Let me turn around. Confidence is key. Ladies, you know what I mean. And I love it because it is like a bronze tone lip gloss. And I'll put that on. So I will be right back and I'll show you the final, final look with like, I, and I keep looking into my monitor. The lashes are Ardell um, 213s, but I doubled them up. It says 213. I doubled them up and absolutely love them, but I'll be back with the final look. All right. I'll be right back. This is the final look, you guys. This is my updated routine. And this is like the natural version of it because I, I didn't like set a whole lot or anything, but Definitely doing under the eyes helps a whole lot. Doing um, setting right there, it keeps it in place. This foundation is Bay. I don't know if y'all tried it yet. Everything that I use is like a holy grail and something that I love. So anyway, 
this is it for the video. I will be coming back with a um, how to make your makeup pop like on, with a mask and all that good stuff, you know, due to the season that we're in and all that. I'm going to come back with that and make sure that you join the fan bam. OK, the winning fan bam. Make sure you join. You click that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And you guys have an awesome blessed day. And I'm not going to say I'll see you sooner than you think, but I will say I'll see you soon. This is bye. Coffin, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Hey.